What's up guys and welcome back to another video if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe button right now But today we're gonna talk about How much this beautiful car what the wrap costed me? That's what we're gonna do today, but before we get to the juicy stuff Guess what happened to my smoothie? <laughs> so this morning So this morning I was trying to turn it on and look at this i tried to turn it on look at that can y'all believe that i believe it's dead i don't know why it's dead but we're gonna fix that issue right now <laughs> hopefully hopefully that's what it was we we're supposed to go get an oil change but was it worth it we'll see right now but first we have to fix this problem jesus christ hopefully this is what the salute hopefully this is what the problem is because if not then i don't know i really even use this car let's get to it uh, bro i cannot do this one hand oh there you go that has to be the better oh my god all that water hopefully that's not bad I don't drive the Subi. It's been like 10 days. It's probably been two weeks. Two weeks that I haven't driven it. As you guys can tell by the video, I haven't uploaded like in a week. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna have to move that car. So I'm gonna have to move the Subi over there. So I'm gonna be closer to the Honda. Cause the Honda's the one that's gonna go give it some electricity. So yeah, let's do this. Let's put it on neutral and try to push a little bit. I don't know how this is gonna work out, but let's see this. There you guys see my one man skills. I'm a, I'm a man of many traits. Let's see if this works. Hopefully it can reach. I'm gonna have to put the Honda a little closer to the car, but we'll figure it out right now. Now to the moment of truth. Let's see if this works. Huh. Let's see if this works. I don't know, man. Hopefully. Hopefully it does work. I'm hoping it does. I have faith, I have faith. I don't know how I'm gonna get in here. Though. All right. <laughs> Two, let's see. What? Um, I don't know what's going on now. My thing is completely dead. Well, I don't know. I have to figure this out. <laughs> Yo, we're in business. It actually turned on. I actually had to rev the... I actually had to rev the Honda a little bit, so I don't know. I learned that back then when I was a kid. You had to rev the other car to pass electricity over here. So that's what happened. Battery voltage is better. Look at that, it's 14. It was at four before. So yeah, so it's working. We have to keep the car on. Hopefully it does not die on me whenever I stop it over there. But we're gonna drive it for a little bit. And then we're gonna get to the juicy stuff. I am so hungry by the way. I know you guys don't care, but yeah. Yo, honestly, in my head, I was like, there's no way my battery is like, it's messed up already. I've barely been driving this car. Only has 36,000 miles. 
and it says i looked up google and it said you had to change it every four to five years i'm like i barely had this car for two years it's a 2020 but still i was like there's no way the battery is dead already so thank god there's no battery that's dead because batteries are low-key expensive i don't know how much they are for this car but yeah i'm gonna go drive this for a little bit i don't know if i'm gonna get some scenes or not but i'm gonna drive it and then Guess how much I spent on my wrap. I mean, I didn't. <laughs> Yo, we finally arrived to the location that we're supposed to record at. Yo, this is the funniest thing. So I haven't, keep in mind, I haven't driven this car like in, okay, let's say two weeks. It's basically been two weeks. I haven't driven this car. And <laughs> I like stalled it like almost three times. I literally stalled it two times. And I was kind of embarrassing because I was literally getting used to the pedal. I couldn't get used to it, so. That's what happened. <laughs> it was just embarrassing as fuck, though. I was embarrassed with myself. Like, obviously, other people couldn't tell, but I was embarrassed with myself. That's why. So, yes, we are. Look at this beautiful ass car, though. Like, I don't know. I try to get some clips. I try to get some clips me driving it, but I can't really drive with obviously one hand because then on the steering wheel and then when I'm shifting and you know you guys know the whole mumbo jumbo so yeah so this is how much I actually spent on my subi but first let's do a little review on how they actually did detail to detail I mean they actually for keep in mind it's a wrap you know wraps are gonna have their own little little uh defects is gonna have like little details like it's gonna be messed up but overall they actually did a good job this look at this like you can't even tell nothing has wrinkled up it's been like a month i think that i had it wrapped nothing has been i mean this this was just it came the rad just came like that defective i mean you can't really tell unless you like you know i don't think you can tell on camera to be honest you can tell a little bit but nothing too dramatic they did this nothing has been bubbled up which is good the trunk they did a good job with the sti i mean you see i mean i can feel the, the wrap right here but you can't really see anything you can look at this it literally looks like it's been painted and i like stuff like this you know there's like little things like if you nitpick you know i'm just nitpicking at this at this point i actually had them install the carbon fiber fenders i had them do that because i didn't have time to do them and also sometimes they come defective and i didn't want to mess with it so i had them do it yes it's not gonna fit oem look at this it's not gonna fit oem all the time you know the guy did tell me there was a piece like around here that they had to cut out. See what I'm saying? Look, it's like sometimes when I lift up the, the hood, it rubs, uh, just stuff like that. So this is to the point of the video, what you guys wanted to see. So I actually spent, deposit was, I wanna say it was, so it was half, so it was 1600. But then later on, it, that was a deposit, 1600. Later on, I told him, hey, can you guys do the carbon fire fenders? So he did 200 bucks. I think, yeah, he charged me 200 bucks for each. No, 240, 240. He charged me 240 for each. So basically, with overall, it was 34, 3460. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it is kind of, it's it's up there, but they did a, they did a good job with ceramic coated after with the wrap. And he actually gave me $100 off because they took longer. That's how much I wasted. I wasted 3360 3, with $100 off. I mean, would I do it again? Would I take my car to that shop again? Yes, I would, because they did such an awesome job. If you guys want to go get uh, your car wrapped there, I'm going to put it on the link down below. I love this wrap. Like I said, the color, you can't find it anywhere else. It's discontinued. So I'm like the, I haven't seen this color anywhere. So that's a positive thing. So what's the future for my Subi? I don't know. <laughs> actually, I'm debating on either getting the carbon fiber trunk, but actually, I don't know. It just depends. I mean, I like the color of the STI wing and the trunk, how it looks, it matches, but I want to get a carbon fiber trunk. So 
So this is gonna be the end of the video. We're gonna get a thumbnail and this is where we're gonna end it at. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but hopefully I got some good clips. I mean, yeah. So hopefully by this year we can get monetized on YouTube and enjoy what I like doing and getting paid for it. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you guys on the next video.